Hi everyone, it's Mystic Princess here and I'm back with you today to do a pick a card read. Um, today we're going to be looking at what sort of effect you might be having on somebody at the moment. So we're going to be looking at how somebody might be thinking or feeling about or towards you. So essentially we're looking at the amount of or the type of real estate that you might be taking up in their mind or their heart. As always, my readings are for fun and entertainment purposes only. I'm not psychic, I can't tell your future. I can read you some pretty cards and you can take from that what you will, as long as it's positive, um, if it resonates. So if you do have any important decisions to make, please consult the appropriate professional and don't make any choices about any legal, financial, medical, life, relationship, um, matters from from any readings that I give because they're not intended for that. So without further ado, let's start on into the reading. So I have four piles in front of me here. Each has a crystal on. So we have Tiger's Eye, White Crystal, Jade Donglin. I've probably said that wrong, so I do apologise if that's the case, and Red Jasper. If you'd like to take a moment to meditate or um, focus your energy, channel your energy, or just consider the piles in front of you for a moment or in front of me, I will come back and we will start with pile number one, Tiger's Eye. Hi everyone, so we're back with pile number one, Tiger's Eye. So if you chose this pile, you may have been attracted to the crystal. You may have been attracted to the design on the card. Number one might be something that resonates with you. You may be short on time or quite concerned about time and just wanted to get the first pile done. Or you might be somebody who's going to enjoy listening to all of the readings. But either way, we're here now to do pile number one, so Give them a bit of a shuffle. You may be disappointed with my shuffling skills. Um, I don't have the best technique or a complete lack of technique perhaps is what some might call it. And I also have quite small hands um, in comparison to the cards. So oh, I do my best. So let's see what we've got today. And we're looking at, we're channeling the energy regarding the effect that you may be having on somebody at the moment. how that person may be thinking or feeling about you as a result. Okay, so we have somebody here that's quite in touch with their mental needs, their mental skills, they're, they're quite mentally engaged. So there's somebody that spends a lot of their time perhaps in their thoughts, in their mind, in their head. We may be talking about an air sign or somebody that has um, a lot of air or at least prevalent placements of air in their chart because we're talking about somebody that's quite mentally engaged. They act from their mind as opposed to their their hearts and their feelings. So when we're talking about this person, this person is more likely to be, you're more likely to consume their thoughts than you are their feelings because that's where, where the action comes from. They have feelings, they're capable of them. They just, they tend to, their feelings tend to come from their thoughts. Whereas some people are the other way around. They'll feel something and then they'll make a decision on it or they'll have a thought about it or they'll make a judgment. This person is the type of person to 
think about things, to look at things first, and then the then the feelings will come afterwards. So there's somebody who's very much in their head like that. There's somebody who's very much appreciates the aesthetic of the human form or anything really that's pleasing to the eye. I'm starting to feel like this could be a Libran that we're talking about here, but I don't, you know me, I don't like to go that deep, so take it as it resonates. Um, but with, because I can see a touch of fire as well, but definitely this this is dominating for me. I, I mean, I've got three of them here at least. I've definitely got air, fire, earth that I'm seeing. But I would say in terms of domination of the amount of energy that I'm seeing in each element, I'm definitely seeing more air, followed by fire, followed by earth. No, actually, I was, sorry, I'll switch that up actually. I would say I'm seeing more air followed by earth, followed by fire. Sorry, I will go back. <laughs> I would put I would put earth and fire on a par, but definitely more air. So this is definitely more an air dominated reading. So as I said, we're either talking about an air sign or we could be talking about an air sign or somebody that has air quite dominant or quite prevalent, prevalently placed in their chart. I am getting to leave them vibes, I will be honest with you, um, but we will see. So in terms of how this person is thinking and feeling at the moment, so this person is very much appreciating beauty. So they have identified, they have noticed your, your attractiveness. They have noticed that they're, they're viewing something that is very pleasing to the eye and they're exercising patience around this. So this isn't somebody that comes marching on in or comes charging in on their white horse. Again, this is somebody who's gonna think things through. They're gonna carefully assess the facts. They're gonna be interested in how you feel about them and what you think about them and how would they think the combination or the union will work. So. I think they've done quite a bit of this, but they're they're quite confident in themselves. They're quite quietly confident and confident and comfortable people. Content actually was the word that I was looking for other than confidence. So they're content people in their existence at the moment. I think they've possibly done quite a bit of spiritual work or something similar that that's balanced them. So again, we're back you know, we're talking about balance and harmony and again, it's Libran vibes. So I think they've probably done, spent some time on this or it's the place that they like to be. They like to feel chilled. They like to feel balanced. They like to feel, feel that they're in touch with the world and with themselves and their inner self. It's the place that they like to feel and They've been thinking about how you would fit into that world, what this union would look like, what this combination would look like, how harmonious it would be, how your energies would flow together, how, you know, what your place would be and what you would be looking to them for, how they would fit into your world. They have exercised a lot of patience around the, you and the situation that they're in with you at the moment because they have experienced some sadness in the past which isn't lingering they don't really have emotional baggage but it has caused them to be cautious and it has taught them as you learn from anything that you experience you know to look out for things in the future so it is something that they are bringing with them but not in a baggage way it's something they're it's a wisdom that they're bringing with them, if you like. And again, we have learning. And observation. And we have that down here by the patient. So again, the person, they've learned in the past, perhaps to take it slow or to, to think things through. Think, again, we're in the air sign. 
and learning that's, you know, we're, we're right in that territory. So they've learned to think things through in the future and they've learned to take their time and they've learned to observe what is around them because observation gives you wisdom, right? Um, so that's something that they've learned to do because it's, it's, it's the preparation. So like anything, if you assess something and you, you know, it's easier than it is afterwards when you go jumping in head first. And these people, they're not those sorts of people. They're not um, spontaneous in that way. They're not quick to act. They're not, they're not slow either. We're not talking about people that will wait forever. Um, but then they're not going to go charging in and throw caution to the wind and see what happens afterwards. They don't really want to waste their time, that's why. They don't want to waste your time and they don't want anybody to get hurt at the end of the day. These are quite harmonious, placid people. They're not, this person that we're talking about, okay, so they're not the sort of person you could walk all over, but they're amiable, they're charming. So they're, they're far more interested in being liked and having pleasant conversations and having that that harmonious flow of energy than they are um, drama, passionate arguments, anything like that. They're not those sorts of people. They're chill, you know, they're chill vibe people. So let's see if I can. Okay, and again we're still in the we're still in the air zone, so Aquarius could be where in its head this might not be a Libran, it might be an Aquarian, but I was getting very Libran vibes, but perhaps we're talking about a Libran and an Aquarius union, because that's quite a common union, we do see that quite a lot, and a Libran will, their mind will be consumed quite a lot with thoughts of Aquarius, if, if they're attracted to, to an Aquarian that dynamic will very much consume the Libran's mind. They will be very interested normally. I'm not saying every Aquarian they meet, they fall in love with, but if they are attracted, if there's an attraction there, then boom, the Libran will be very hooked normally. And, and the Aquarian will appreciate the Libran's initiative, the way that the Libran will take charge. So in terms of what this person is thinking or feeling about you at the moment, so like I said, I think there's somebody who's taking it slow. I think there's somebody that think is thinking up all of the options. I don't necessarily mean options like other people, but they're looking at whether this dynamic will work, how it will work, what sort of energy it will produce, how you will fit into each other's lives but they're vibing, I think they're feeling it, they're vibing, it's just the way they do things. So if you're perhaps with this person, um, or you have a person like this that you're interested in and you feel like they're dragging their feet, it, they might be, I'm not saying they're not, but it could just be that they're just waiting to see where it goes on its own, they're waiting for things naturally to evolve because they're not the type of people to, to, to force something, to push something, to pursue something in that type of way. They're much more the type of people to take their time, to think, to look at the facts, to see how they think everything works and gels together, um, to see you know, how it makes them feel, what frequency they're on, how what things you have in common what you like that sort of thing there's definitely attraction you know they do recognize the aesthetics involved so they recognize that there's beauty there's definitely attraction but what they're looking for a meeting of the minds and that's what it is that they're waiting to to gauge i think because they, they are somebody who feels like they're evolving as a person in their soul and they're, they're waiting for that moment where they ascend. So it may be a moment of enlightenment, it may be a, a moment of inner power, it may be a challenge or a struggle that they've had going on themselves that they're waiting to 
for that climax, if you like, to come. And that's what they're heading towards. That's what they're working towards in their own in their own goal, their own personal goal. And I think they're interested in what yours might be and how these two will fit together. But they definitely have noticed um, and are interested in the physical aesthetic. So they definitely are somebody who's viewing beauty at the moment. They're viewing somebody, I think, who's a little bit less considered in that way than they are. So somebody who is not quite throw caution to the wind, but somebody who's a bit more, you know, let's throw our shoes off and run through the, the dewy grass in the field, that, that kind of way. Whereas this person might be somebody who would be a bit more at home meditating or reading a book or looking up something on the internet futuristic or technology wise but the person that they're interested in is definitely somebody that would be oh to hell with it you know let's throw our watches away let's let's dance in the moonlight let's so that could be quite harmonious that could be quite balanced together but it's it's that so they, they think they're seeing somebody that's very pretty, that's a little bit sparkier than they are, um, is also chilled and much more one with nature than they are. And they're thinking, okay, I'm going to be patient because things have happened in the past that have told me to perhaps take my time. So I'm going to have a look at how this is going to work out. I'm going to have a look at how, how we're going to gel together and then we'll see what naturally evolves. Let me... Authenticity. So we've got a goddess card for authenticity. So the looking for somebody so the looking between the surface this is i think what they're taking their time for a little bit as well because um they they just want to see what's really there so when you go on the first few dates and you're all dressed up and um you've got your best behavior on and all of the rest of it they'd quite like to see what what happens when that isn't happening so they'd quite like to see what what you're like normally on a sunday when you're you're curled up and chilling what so that's what they're interested in as well what's going to happen three months plus down the line if you get together then what sort of things might you be doing how might you be spending your time together then how might your energies flow when you when the authentic self starts to reveal itself so that's some of why they're showing the patience that they are because they're waiting to see your your soul shine and what that light is and what that light looks like. They're exercising critical judgment despite the fact that they're clearly attracted to you and they really like your sense of inner child. Um, you know, that sense of, yep, yeah, I, I see the world with fresh eyes, it's a sunny day, I mean, I'm enjoying, I've got my toe dipped in the stream and I'm quite happy here. So they're really kind of enjoying that. They just, they, they're just thinking things through. They just want to know what it's going to be like down the line and how it's going to mesh together then. So it's more through curiosity than anything. I don't see any sort of suspicious thoughts here. They're not. They're not focusing on removing a mask. They're not focusing on getting you to drop your guard or, you know, wanting to scratch the surface and reveal the, the what, what's there in that sort of a way. They're just interested in how this will work out and seeing the real you, really. They don't want to be hurt. They don't want you to get hurt. And they don't want anybody's time to be wasted so that's they may seem like they're taking their time a little bit but to them it probably doesn't feel like they are because that's what these people are like these people do think things through because they want to get it right so they're the measure twice cut once type of people i don't know if you've ever heard that 
saying, I mean, to be honest, this person clearly isn't really the handyman type, so it might not be the right saying for them, but you will see some people in, in the kind of crafting DIY world that put a lot of time into preparation, so when they've actually done some destructive or committed work, like cut something, that they can't turn back on that easily, they're confident that that, that permanent action is correct. So they'll perhaps do things beforehand more than once to determine that. Okay, so this was, I've got a bit off track there, I do apologise. This was um, pile number one. So I'm going to clean up my desk. I'm going to come back to you with pile number two. If you'd like to stay on and listen to another reading, that's perfectly fine by me. If not, then I hope to see you back for one of my other readings. Please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more. I'd really like to start doing some live live streaming reads soon. I think that would be really interesting and something I'd quite enjoy to try. So I'm trying to get my subscription count up for that. So if you can give me a hand there, I'd very much appreciate it. If you're not stacking around, you enjoy the rest of your day and spread good vibes, light and love wherever you go. Bye-bye. Hello everyone, Mystic Princess back here again, just coming back to you with my reading number two. So if you chose this reading, this was the one with the white crystal on the cards and the pattern on the back. You may have been attracted to the crystal, you may have been attracted to the card, you may be attracted to the number two. Either way, this is our number two reading today, so move this out of the way. Do a quick, a bit of a lame shuffle, I do apologise. I'm not very good at this, the shuffling at all. So let's get some cards down for you. How are we all today, by the way? I hope you're well. Is it sunny where you are? Okay. Feeling I just wanted to lay these like this for now. Okay, so poll number two. So we're looking at how somebody is thinking or feeling about you at the moment. So what sort of energy you may be raising in them, what sort of effect you might be having on them, the real estate that, that you're taking up in their mind or their heart, really. Um, so we're looking at somebody this time. So the last reading I had was somebody very um, in their head, very, a very mental orientated person. This one's not so much. So this person, I think, is much more emotional. We've, I'd say we've got both on here, water and, water, earth, water, earth and fire. Not very much air, there's a hint of it, but not as much as there was the last time. I think we're looking at somebody, yeah, there's a hint of air and fire, but I think we're probably looking at a water, or a earth sign. Let me just pull because normally I, I leave this a little bit later, but I just want to get a bit clearer on that. Freedom. Okay, so. All right. So we are looking at, we're looking at some practical people here. Um, Practical stroke emotional. So we could be actually looking at an earth and water pairing. So we could be looking at an earth sign interested in a water sign or vice versa. But I'm definitely seeing a much more earthy type of energy on the table today. So I would say we're probably looking at somebody that way orientated. So we're looking at somebody who is quite interested, 
quite focused, I would say, on what they consider um, to be the way it is. So there's somebody who's been brought up a certain way. So their family values and the opinions of their their support network and the people close to them are quite important to them and they align their selves and their values to that. So they're around people who tend to think and feel the same way about them. They've learned a lot over the years from these people about what relationships and potential partners look like. So they are somebody at the moment who's feeling a little bit like they may not be in the right situation so I don't know if that's a work situation or a love situation but they're wondering if the situation that they're questioning at the moment is the right fit for them and if they're the right fit for that that situation they're showing they do show a lot of faith in their beliefs um it's something that they they will consider when they're considering you because they are they're very very interested and focused at the moment on opening their heart up to love they're very interested in improving their connection with others of which i think you probably are one and they're very interested in strengthening those connections so they're not somebody who's looking for the type of spiritual harmonious balanced type of um, relationship that we looked at earlier the type of person we looked at earlier and similarly they're not somebody who's looking for this big sparky you know passionate kind of torrid love affair there's somebody who's looking for something a lot more practical a lot more grounded a lot more set in stone so at the moment they're they're very much trying to put those foundations down so they've got faith in this union and they're trying to put the foundations down they're using what they've learned over the years in terms of um, knowledge and um, values to to judge how to do that but they're very much wanting to kind of to cement this if you like they're they're looking for this commitment they're looking to get this it it's almost a little bit like a business deal i know that doesn't sound very romantic but to some people it does if you're a classical type of thinker a class if you take a classical approach to relationships then yeah you'll be in your element with this person and the approach that they want to take with you because they're very much about okay are, are we do we think the same do we feel the same do we have the same standards and values am i attracted to you are you attracted to me are we both financially solvent um yeah okay fine yeah let's go then let's sign up for the next period of time or whatever and there are some people that love that there are some people that are all over that that that's exactly what they're looking for they're looking for that from from somebody because they find it secure they find it secure, they know what the deal is, they know where it's going, they know why, and that's that's it, and that's exactly what they're looking for too. So we are looking at a very, like I said, a very classical, somebody who's got a very classical approach to matters of the heart. They're thinking about this in terms of you, they're waiting for the news on whether you're kind of signing up to this or not are you going to go my way you know do you do you agree is this something that works for you are you one of my kind um they're doing this very openly so they're not i know in the last reading we were talking about somebody who'd been hurt a little bit perhaps in the past and they might be exercising some caution nothing drastic but they might just be thinking okay well i saw this happen before and then that happens so let me just have a look out for this now they're not somebody like that they, their heart is very open they're um open to give and receive love this is something that they're, they're not worried about at all with you. They're not worried about doing that in general. They're, they're, when, the, you know, when the time is right and the people are right and everything's lined up, they will just happily do that without apprehension. They're very confident 
on in themselves in that way. So they're very firm footed in that way. Um, I think actually the more I look at this, I think the more we might be talking about a Capricorn or a Taurus. Yeah, the more I can hear myself speak and the more I, I, I see this, I think that's what we might be talking about. Let me have a look at... Okay, so yeah, love. I mean, this is... It, it, it's deceptive, which is why I'm, I'm leaning towards the earth signs. Because this is filled with love. This is fueled with love. But you're not seeing any of that romance that fire that passion because that is not the way these guys do it you're talking a deep earthy a deep grounded love that lasts a long time once the foundations are down you're talking about growing things because the earth is from where things grow right so that's what they're doing they're looking to grow something that lasts so they do have an airy side to them. They do have a a, a dreamy side, um, a dreamy aspect, a dreamy aspiration in love, but it's it's deeply buried because that's how these guys roll. You know, the, the sort of person we're talking about, that's how they do it. And like I said, I'm getting stronger by the minute. I'm getting Capricorn Taurian vibes. Taurian yeah um, so we could be talking about somebody like that because this person as well isn't somebody that's worried about repeating the same cycle that's not bothering them at all they know that they either stay on the wheel or they step off and they start a new cycle somewhere else but they're taking a very pragmatic approach to it in that way it's not something that's made them apprehensive it's not something that's made them considerate of their decisions or um, exercise a, a type of wisdom or judgment, they're much more practical people than the people that we spoke about a moment ago. And their approach to love and to you and to the effect that you're having on them will follow suit with that. So they're very much the type of people, if they're interested and the person they're interested in is interested, then yep, let's get that sign sealed, delivered, tied up and let's go. Let's get on this journey because this is how it's going to be now. You know, that's been that's been decided. Let's do it. And if the person they're interested in is that type of people, as there are many people that are like that, then it's all go, really. It's all sorted. So that's my reading for number two that's what somebody is thinking um, at the moment or feeling at the moment this is the effect that has been had on them and the real estate in their mind and heart that's been taken up and what sort of energy they're experiencing i'm going to clear my desk up and move on to reading number three three so please feel free to stick around if you'd like if not, then hopefully I'll see you for one of my other videos. Bye-bye. Hello everyone, it's Mystic Princess back here again with reading number three from today's Pick a Card reading. Looking at how somebody may be thinking or feeling about you at the moment. We're looking essentially at the effect you may be having on them, the type of energy that this may be, that they may be experiencing as a result, and generally what sort of real estate you may be taking up in their mind or their heart. So if you're drawn to this pile with the Jade Dongling, I do apologies to anybody who's unhappy with the way that I said that. I, I am sorry. Um, it is something that I, I struggle with pronouncing. Then we will be starting your pick a card read now. So just a short disclaimer. Oh, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> but maybe we're going to have these as jumpers because normally when they jump 
they want to be read. And I didn't feel like I dropped them that time, so. Those ones definitely jumped out. These ones can get shuffled again. Any shuffling tips, leave me a comment. Okay, so, bit of everything here, I think, but I see a lot of, I mean, I can see it all, air, fire, water, earth. But I think we've got more, more air and water today, I would say, on this reading. So the person that we're looking at here is somebody that's feeling very attracted and very tempted by something at the moment. Um, so this could be an effect that you're having on them. So there's somebody who's perhaps thinking about you, um, if this resonates with you, a lot in a dreamy type of, you're a bit of a fantasy person for them either because they're far away from you or because they see you in a certain way. They see you in an ideal, perhaps. Um, they may be somebody that's not, you know, not engaged with you very much. So the distance might not be through actual geographical distance, but it may just be because they've not, you know, you, you two people that haven't, kind of connected together yet but they're definitely you're definitely on their mind so they're fantasizing a little bit about what they think you might be like what the union might be like there's somebody who's quite comfortable in themselves in terms of they they're, they're warm people uh, we're back to the fire a little bit now I'm feeling so they're warm people that have a lot of love for themselves they have a lot of appreciation for themselves they've learned how to love themselves and as a result they feel like they could like that you'll love them too and they could love you so they, they, they're quite proud of themselves in that way the, the type of people that will pat themselves on the back and they think that you will too. They think that once you notice their, them and see, you know, see what they're like and what they're about, that you'll be knocked out um, because that's how they feel about themselves. And actually that's how they feel about you too. So they're fun kind of people. They like to, you know, have fun and let out their wild side a little bit. And they're also spiritual people. They may be somebody that, you know, might be interested in vibrations and manifestations and vision boards and that sort of thing. The more I look at this and the more I think about it, I think I said at the beginning, didn't I, water? But I'm, I'm for some reason, that the, as time goes on and the more I'm talking, the more I'm getting Leo. So I don't know if the person that we're looking at here is a Leo or if the person they're interested in is a Leo. I think this story is you know this it's very leo connected i'm um, i am getting that quite strongly let's have a look so yeah we we are talking about a bit of a sparkier person so where the other two cards have been a bit dreamy and a bit practical and we've said you know these aren't people that are interested in or necessarily driven by that sort of passion or that sort of um sparkiness this this person is 
So this person is all about that. They're all about the dramatic flair. They're all about the big gesture. They're trying to pick up signs from you if you're interested before they kind of go <laughs> charging in to claim their happiness with you because that's how they see this. They're very much, they're the type of people, you know, who, who want the happy ending straight. They're seeing that before the book's even started, you know. They're convinced of that and they're, they're going to do anything. If, if the, that story starts, they'll do anything to make sure it's got a happy ending. So they're, they're very punchy people like that, very kind of um yes let's let's go out and get it i can get it because i'm great you're great too don't you think i'm great because i think that about you this is the type of people that we're we're looking at here we're talking about here they they see beauty and they believe that they radiate it everywhere as well they're waiting for their moment and then they, they're just, there's not going to be any fear involved and they're just going to lay it on the line. They, they're the type of people who they're not going to have any apprehension at all about telling you exactly what their intentions are. They just need to get the timing right to get the sign right from you. The minute they've got that sign that they think they're interested, it's, it's go for them. It's okay, fine. This is what I feel, this is what I want, this is what I can, you know, wouldn't it be great? Are you in, you want to, you want to, yeah, <laughs> you know. Um, and it would be a lot more of a dynamic type of energy than we spoke about and looked at earlier. They're really about s sort of smouldering and the whole torrid romance thing that we, we, in the other two readings was nowhere to be seen is all here that's why it's all it's all here just waiting there we go magic so yeah fire again i really do think we're talking about a leo a leo woman i think is quite strong here but again i don't go that deep guys i'm not psychic i just read the cards and pick up on the vibes but with de i mean you've got somebody here like i said who's quite a proud person they're quite a warm person they're quite confident in their own abilities and how you, what they can bring to the table um and they're certain you will be confident of that too when they get a chance to show you how great they are um because they think you're great and they know in their mind they know you you're gonna think they're great as well so that's my reading number three um, for my pick a card reading today. If you enjoyed this, please do hit the like button. Please do subscribe for more readings. I'm going to be doing uh, sort of various different readings on various different things as soon as I can get a gauge for what people like and what they want. So please give me a comment if you want to see something else and hopefully once I get my subscribers up I can do a few live readings as well because I think that would be fun and that's something I'm interested in doing but you enjoy the rest of your day spread light love and laughter wherever you go I'm going to clean my desk up now and I will be back in a moment with reading number four thank you Hello everyone, Mystic Princess back here again with my fourth and final reading from this pick a card reading today. So the reading we're doing is to find out how someone may think or feel about you, what general real estate you're taking up in their mind or their heart. So as I always say, I'm not psychic, I can't tell you your future, what I can do is read you some cards and if they resonate, with your story and you can take something positive from that then brilliant if not we just disregard it if you do have any decisions that you need to make please consult the appropriate professional and not to take influence from a reading like this because that's not what these are attended for they're for fun and entertainment purposes only so that said if you chose the red jasper This is the reading that I'm providing for that pile today.
a bit of rubbish shuffling, I'm afraid to say. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so the fourth pile, the red jasper pile. So we're looking at somebody here who is um, tapping in a lot to their subconscious. So they're tapping into what their, I want to use the word soul, but I don't want to make it sound too much. They're tapping into what they think is their, their life's purpose or what, sorry, their inner desires, I think is more the word that I'm looking for. So they're looking for authenticity, they're looking for truth, openness and directness. They're looking to present a side of themselves that they consider to be honest and open and they're looking to speak with integrity. So as the Mad Hatter said in Alice in Wonderland, if you're, you're a fan of that, it, it was something along the lines of say what you mean or mean what you say. So. That's what they're really, they're looking to use words as a way to communicate truth as opposed to just talking for talk's sake. So we're looking at somebody here then who considers themselves very grounded in that sort of way, who considers themselves an honest person, a sort of the earth type of person. They're looking to expand themselves in, into, into a love affair essentially this is this is their end game this is what they're looking for and they're lining up all the cards ironically they're lining up everything they need to do to present themselves so they're starting here so they're starting as somebody that they think maybe they need to drop their guard they need to take their mask off they need to present a different side of themselves that's that's where they're starting and then they're moving on this journey where they're going to educate their mind and their senses. They're going to seek beauty all around them and take in the beauty of the world. They're going to act with care about people and share their love and their light. They're, they're, they're going to travel, possibly, um, on this journey. And they're going to present a side of themselves that they consider to be utterly authentic. And they're doing this to get here at the end goal. So you're dealing with someone here that feels like they need to show you their best side but not it's not a honeymoon period best side it's if you ever had that line in that film or um in a book or whatever but it's that line where somebody says you make me better you make me want to be a better me that's exactly what this person is experiencing they want to be better they don't want to pretend to be better they may not necessarily other people might not think they need to be better, but they feel like they want to be a better person. And they feel like, I'm going to go a step, <clears throat> I'm going to go a step further than that, actually. They, they don't feel like they want to be a better person. They are actively becoming a better person. So they're taking all the actions necessary to evolve into a higher self you know, what what that is for them to be the person that you deserve. So this is this is somebody, a very worthy person, I would say, in terms of their thought processes and the way that they're thinking. Because the way that they're thinking is very much about being, existing as something beneficial to to what is around them and beneficial to a to a potential suitor to someone that they want to form a love connection with and they want to be somebody well they're taking active steps to be somebody that is that is worthy that is worth having that is the best version of themselves and it is very it's the, very authentic there's a lot of integrity here and there's a lot of higher self thinking so this is somebody that's really taking in what's around them and really opening up and giving out what's within them. 
and they're, they're doing it in an open, authentic way. So their mind is open, that their heart is going to follow, and they're hoping that you will be there to receive this in the manner that it's it's being intended and being given. And really, you you know, if that's the case, you th this should would be a very beneficial union. So, I mean, if you can see here, you've got to this point. So this is the point that they get to as an individual, which then leads to sorry, leads to this as a union and a couple. So if you see here, this person is they're not just basking in the glory and the light and the love that they're receiving and they're they're achieving, but there's there's two things about the poise that they've got there. So that they're, they're basking in it they're bringing it in they're accepting it in but they're radiating it out again they're actually part of part of the light and part of the love there and part of the warmth so which is a very it's, it's a very different energy to this to where they've kind of started i mean this isn't bad but it's different it's completely different the, this person is one in themselves this person is one of everything around them and then as a result, they're one of a union with somebody else and everything around them. So that's what that's what this person is feeling. That's what they're doing. And they're feeling you're worthy of this. This is what they want to be for you. They want to be the best version of a partner for you. They want the union to be the best. They want to be... And I don't mean it's not the best in a competitive way. It's not the best in better than everybody else. It's the best version of them. It's the best way they can be to exist in this world. It's the best contribution that they can make through their, through their human body and their human mind and their spirit. Um, and it's, it's, it really is higher level work. And it really is something that they they feel that they're then presenting themselves as a really viable option for you. And that's how this person thinks and feels about you at the moment. They feel that you make them, or knowing you contributes towards them being their better self. That's quite something, isn't it? So let me just... I didn't really need, I mean, this is such a, this spread says so much on its own. I um, was ready to kind of wrap it up there, but I'm going to pull a couple of more anyway, because I did it for the other readings. But honestly, I didn't really need them. So, yeah, exactly. Look, so we've got companionship, loyalty and faithfulness, equality. So it's all, it. I mean, it's great work, really it is justice so this is really positive this person is a really positive person um i don't mean positive in the way that they come through the door skipping and dancing about how great the world is how great they are how great you know what they're going to do what they're not going to do um, i mean they're, they're totally in tune with the needs of themselves and those around them and they're really really feeling positive about you in this union they really want to they really think that this this could ascend that this could go somewhere really quite special i'm not really picking up when you usually see things like this it's usually air or water to be honest with you but i'm not really picking up those sorts of details about what sort of person we could be dealing with here um i'm not i'm not picking up any strong energy elements at all like I did with some of the other readings, I'm just seeing. I, but but again, that's probably that might be because they're so in tune with everything around them. But yeah, if this if this resonates with you, then this is a really interesting person that you that you may be meeting or have met or is in your life. Somebody that you could maybe learn a lot from. Certainly, somebody who's probably willing to learn from you they would be open to that 
And that's my reading for the fourth and final pile today. Thank you ever so much for checking out my video. Please enjoy the rest of your day. Spread love and light wherever you go. Please give me a subscribe and a like if you enjoyed this. And I hope to see you back for more. Bye bye.